I mean, yeah, personally, I've always thought of myself as an action camera kind of guy. I mean, I fit the bill, right? I skate, I had a mullet. I even bought the cameras. I, I just never found myself really using them all that much. From time to time, I'd bust out my GoPro just to record some mediocre clip, just so I could justify the purchase. It's steeper than it looks. But that always left me feeling like I should be better than this. And that's when I saw it. A clip that changed everything. Oh, is that a GoPro? Is that a drone? It can't be an Osmo Pocket. No, bro, it was an Insta360, a camera that completely changed the game for me, a unique perspective that really stoked the embers of my action camera guy heart. Honestly, made me want to pick up my monster, pick up my camera, and try again. Alright, what's up everybody? This video is actually a lot less dramatic than that intro made it out to be. Um, I do have the Insta360 X3 and the GoPro Hero 11 black, which I'm kind of doing a shootout between, but it's also more like my three month review on having the X3, which is my first 360 camera. I've been loving it, spoiler alert, I think action cameras are great. I've had a bunch of GoPros in the past and in my opinion they're kind of the best single lens, fixed lens action cameras you can get, but I wanted to see how my new favorite, the X3, can stack up against it, just in terms of image quality, but also give you my kind of thoughts and opinions on a bunch of the other X3 features. So enjoy this video, got a lot of footage, got a lot of B-roll. Now, this video is sponsored by Insta360 and there's an affiliate link below, but the point of this video isn't to sell you one, it's just really to help you do your research if you're kind of on the fence between buying one of these cameras. Over the last decade of me being on YouTube or watching YouTube, I've watched so many videos that have helped me make and buy the right camera for what I'm doing. So I just hope that that's what this video does is help educate you a little bit. You'll hear my experience and actually just see example footage because I feel like that is sometimes the most helpful thing. But if you are in the market for the X3, hit that link below and I'll get some money. All right, so hopping right into this, let's start with the price of these cameras. The GoPro Hero 11 Black is gonna cost you $549 US, and the Insta360 X3 is gonna cost $449. That's a $100 price difference between the two. You're also gonna probably wanna budget in some money for accessories for these cameras, but these are the single camera prices. Now it might be obvious to some, but the GoPro is a fixed single lens camera. You can change the field of view and the settings from hyperview to linear, but basically that just makes it a little bit wider to a little bit more narrow, but what you point your shot at is what you're gonna get, much like a traditional camera. The X3's superpower is that it can record all around you, literally records in 360 degrees at 5.7K, which is why it has two lenses. This allows you to never really miss any action. Uh, maybe it happened to the side of you, behind you, or you just wanna hit record, enjoy your day, and choose your framing later. It's that simple. Much like the GoPro, the X3 still does have a single lens mode if you wanted to use it more like a traditional action camera. It's kind of like you're getting two cameras in one because honestly, I'll mostly be using it for 360 footage because that's what really reignited my stoke about this action camera. But from time to time, it is nice to just put it in single lens mode if you're vlogging or just want to get one specific shot. And so this is 4K, which shows on oh, the menu. 4K? Looks like actually this is probably a better focal length anyway for vlogging. Look how wide that is. Yeah, that's pretty wide. But yeah, it's sunny out here, so getting a couple clips. What'd you order? Coke. I was honestly surprised from my testing in not ideal weather conditions, how well it actually stood up to the GoPro in terms of single lens mode. While it doesn't have all the slow-mo frame rate options that the GoPro has, comparing these cameras side by side in 4K 24 frames per second was pretty crazy. I think 
this is linear on both of them. I had to rent the GoPro for this shoot, so I really only had a few days and some crappy weather to actually get out and film. So I would like to try this again in bright sunny conditions because I think both cameras would actually look a bit better. Another major feature that might seem obvious to some but I am still loving is the fact that the X3 has an invisible selfie stick. Basically you can mount the camera to the end of the pole, hold it out, and the software magic deletes the selfie stick so it looks like the camera is floating in front of you. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to try the Insta360 camera because that like video game FPV looks like a drone's flying in front of you was something I really wanted to try out for trail running at first, but now it's kind of given me an opportunity to be creative in other shots and kind of play around with it. I feel like we're filming a Netflix doc right now. I was like, all right dude, so tell me what they did to you. <laughs> the GoPro you can also get some great selfie shots but you either see the pole in it or you'll have to reframe it in such a way that you crop out the pole and you don't get the full body look. I've seen people do it good but for me I really wanted to see like me and a camera floating in front of me. I thought that was super cool. Speaking of invisible selfie stick, there is a mode that's perfect for simple selfie type shooting with an invisible selfie stick still. If you don't want to mess with any 360 reframing, there's a mode called me mode that's built right into single lens mode. Basically, you can use the selfie stick, point the camera at you, and the software deletes it for you and just spits you out an MP4 file. It's pretty convenient. I think we still got some good stuff. We got some good stuff still. Digging through the menus a little bit on these cameras, I actually noticed they do a lot of things pretty similar. They both offer time lapses, hyperlapses, photo mode, really, really good internal stabilization. They're waterproof, you can do pre-recording, you can adjust white balance and exposure compensation. They both have similar traits as far as settings go, but I feel like I find myself honestly using one or two modes pretty consistently in my workflow. I'm really just looking for good image quality, a way to mount and get creative shots, behind the scenes, rigging, or you know, when I want that action camera guy to come back out, I'll, I'll throw it on a selfie stick and film myself skating a little bit. So this is definitely, definitely not a full in-depth review on these cameras. Um, I just wanted to actually mostly look at kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. I rented the GoPro. I've been shooting random stuff on the X3 when I can think of a creative idea. It's actually really fun. So I hopefully this video offered just a good visual representation of these cameras side-by-side. -side. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. I'm sure there might be some real action camera guys in the comments saying this or this to get better quality here and there. And you know, they're probably right. So you can go ahead and read their comments, but X3 is perfect. Personally, the camera I'm gonna continue shooting on when it comes to smaller action cameras because I have been loving it. I'm kind of in that honeymoon phase with 360 footage still and seeing when and how I can mount it has been just a ton of fun. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button and if you wanna buy the camera, affiliate link below and see you in the next video. That's Peace. Taking photos of your kid is like the hardest thing ever. It's good street photo practice, I guess. They just don't care to uh, let you see their face. Can I get a couple with just her? <laughs>